Are you experiencing a 3D that is entirely undesirable? Have you created something that you desperately wish that you could be free from? Well, if that is the case, I'm here to let you know you can and here to let you know how you can do it. So stick around if you're in a situation because it's definitely going to help you out. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Matthew and I'm here today to give you some guidance on how you can escape your 3D circumstances. But before we get into that, if you are in need of my direct assistance, all of the links will be down below in the comment section and the description. With that said, let's get into the video. In order for us to understand why circumstances do not matter, we must first understand what a circumstance is. Your circumstances are made up of old thoughts, old assumptions and old self-concept playing out. Over here, you could have had a situation that you enjoyed, like a, a loving relationship or your job or anything like that, but your continuation to dwell on the undesirable thoughts that kept creeping up and to assign meaning and to embody those thoughts or panic about them as though they are already your reality is the exact thing that has created that problem in your life. Your reality, as it was, broke down in order to become what it was that you were becoming. Because remember, we get what we are, not what we want. So if you are someone who in your thoughts and in your imagination was losing their person or their person was ignoring them or their job didn't have the funding for them or anything like that, that's what you get because we get what we are, not what we want. So your reality as it was fizzled out and began to deconstruct and reconstruct into the thing that you began to embody. The same thing will go for creating the circumstances that you do want. So again, if you've got a situation over here that you don't like, your continuation to focus on what you do want it will deconstruct what you don't want and recreate it into what you do. So let's say that you're currently in no contact, ignoring the fact that you're in no contact and in your imagination going to a place where you're in this loving, committed relationship or in contact or whatever it is that you want. Obviously, you're going to want to get clear on what it is that you want before you start trying to just mess around. But Going to the end of what you want and applying your focus to it will deconstruct this poor negative circumstance that you're in and recreate what you do want. Now, some people may have the argument of, well, my person lives thousands of miles away. My person has, has someone else or my job doesn't have the funding for it or anything like that. The universe does not care. The universe is what makes planets spin. The universe is what made it so that we created Wi-Fi so that I could record this video in my bedroom and thousands of people can see it. The universe, nothing is difficult for the universe. Getting you and your person, even though you're a couple of hundred miles away from each other, together is nothing for the universe. Getting that company that makes hundreds of thousands of sales a day to be able to fund you for a little bit extra is nothing to the universe. The circumstance that you are so panicked about is purely your conscious mind looking at it and going, this must not be able to be possible because you're quote unquote monkey mind is a, a term that's thrown around a bit, is getting in the way. If you took away that and realized that we are on a planet that is the perfect habit, habitable zone to sustain a life created by the universe, then I'm sure it can get you and your person back together. Or I'm sure it can get you the funding or the job or the car or whatever. So take back, take a step back and stop looking at your circumstances and saying, this is impossible because they're so far away or so on and so forth. You're not special in that regard. And I don't mean that horribly. Obviously, as a person, you are special. You're unique. But I can guarantee you there are thousands of people out there who <clears throat> also have their person that's very far away from them, also have no money, also have a job that can't keep their contract going, also have uh, health issues. And I guarantee out of those thousands of people, there are hundreds of them. It might even still be thousands of them that have had success and got what they want. Your circumstance is not special which means if it's been done before and fixed before, it can be fixed again. All you need to do, your only job, and it is such a simple job, is to take your focus away from what caused the circumstance and put it onto what you want. Let the old reality, the shit that you don't want, fizzle out and deconstruct and put your focus towards what you do want and let it reconstruct into something amazing. Because if you can turn it from something good to bad simply just by thinking about it going bad, then you can turn something bad to good simply just by thinking about it going good. Think about what think from the end of it happening, happening, 
ask yourself, how would I think, feel, act if I already had my person, the job, whatever, and then live from that, think from that. Oh, today is a great day because, you know, I have all this money and now I can do whatever I want. Or you get the examples. I don't need to list off a bunch. But let your focus disappear from the undesirable circumstance and let it go on to the desired circumstance. Let this construct. Let this become what it is that you want. Because circumstances don't matter, as I've mentioned. And the reason being, if we take out our conscious minds, like trying to get to the way, Reality is broken down and reconstructed at every single minute of the day, every single second of the day. Reality is broken down and reconstructed. The only thing that keeps your reality staying the same way that it is, is your focus being on the reality that it currently is. That is the only reason why you are still stuck in the circumstance that you're in. Not because your circumstance is difficult for the universe, not because your, your manifestation is not working, nothing other than your focus is in the wrong place. You are focusing on the current moment in time being undesirable. You are focusing on, they are so far away from me, I can't have them. You are focusing on, they have a person, I can't have them. You're focusing on, my business is failing, what do I do? And not, this person is with me. This person and I are managing this long distance relationship or together now they move to me or whatever. My business is thriving. Put your focus where you want it to go and really put your focus at where it, what you want it to go. To really discipline yourself and make sure that you are catching yourself when you're not. Dominantly focus on it. And I guarantee you that your reality, you will see signs of it deconstructing and reconstructing very, very quick. I have had clients that have really applied this kind of stuff and really gone at it. And within a couple of weeks, maybe not even that, maybe a week within my coaching, they've already started seeing evidence evidence that you can use to fuel you just like when you were in your good situation and it started going bad every time a little thing went bad you would dwell on it you'd be like oh they they, they ignored me oh they're being a bit cold oh and you would focus on that stuff thus creating more of it because that's where your focus is going when your bridge of incidents is happening and you're getting small bit pockets of good take those wins obviously you keep going your end result is the end result but focus on the good wins. They messaged you with this really loving message. Your company all of a sudden had like some extra funding coming from somewhere. Assign that shit to mean that you're getting what you want. That is your new reality reconstructing. Focus on it. Let it come more. Think of it like you're trying to build a house. And every time you focus on it, you're adding an extra brick to the house. It may not be one, two, three, maybe even a hundred bricks that make the house. That's why you keep focusing on it, knowing that house is being built. And then one day, that final brick is going to slot into place. And that's when you're going to get, congratulations, your funding's been approved. That's when you're going to get, oh, we've wiped off your debt because we realized there was a problem on our system and it wasn't your fault. Or that's when you're, you see what I mean? You are constructing, you are placing these bricks one brick at a time. Having a house half built and then going, oh, this isn't working. You wouldn't do that. If you were building a house and you saw it in progress, you wouldn't sit there and say, oh, this is working. Just because we cannot directly in our, like with our 3D eyes see the house being built, see reality reconstructing, does not mean that you aren't placing bricks. It means you've still got some time, but it will come in. You are destined to have your desire. If you can desire it, it is yours. Let your old reality deconstruct and begin to construct your new one. I know you can do it because you're all amazing people and you deserve the best. I really hope this video has helped. This is actually the third time I've been recording this because I suck. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I just, yeah, I struggled to get, I, I really struggled to get the message that I wanted across. So I really hope this video has helped and is a good video so I'd have to do it a fourth time. Like, comment, subscribe if it helps you out and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, bye, bye.